Epithet Erased is a fairly recent show with a unique editing style, but despite that, I've never seen anyone talk about ways to recreate these handy tactics. So let's break down how to make this flip effect used to smoothly turn 2D characters. So first, take your character and drop them down in the timeline. This is Chester and we're gonna flip him. So if we go frame by frame, we can see that the character squishes a little bit just before the flip and then stretches back out over time. I like to call this the six frame flip because a lot in your life can turn upside down when you're only six years old. We can make the stretch using keyframes. Go ahead and click on the scale keyframe and then deselect the checkbox for uniform scale. This way we can change the width without affecting the height. Next, we're going to make six keyframes as follows. The first keyframe is your default position. So right after setting that, use your right arrow key to move one frame over and set the next width value to 60. Now do the exact same thing for the third one, just so everyone knows that it wasn't a fluke and it happened again. Just kidding! Now set the last three frames to 85, 95, and back to 100 at the end. And now we have an image that stretches for a bit and comes back. All that's left is the flip. To do that, click back on the third keyframe, you know, the one that was copying its older brother, and cut it off. Cut it off. Cut it off. Cut it off, Steve. Sever that family and everything that comes after it, because now we're going to the effects panel and searching for the horizontal flip. Drag that over to what remains of your broken keyframe family, and now they'll never look back. And would you look at that, just like divorce papers, Chester now flips over with the satisfying whoosh. Cool. Now that you've learned to turn someone's world upside down, make sure to save the effect as a preset by right clicking. This way it'll stay as a memory with you forever and ever until you figure out how to delete it. I personally like to set it to start at the beginning of the clip to easily tell where the flip is. So now you can easily drag and drop this whenever you need to turn people against or away from each other. Thanks for watching! I'd really like to check out more ways to edit like Epithet Erased and show you how to make them work. So if there are any effects or clips you want to see, mention them down in the comments while doing those other YouTube things. Take care!